Hey everybody, and a welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is called Breakout. Which is a vector-based map where you can do both one uh, flag, capture the flag, uh, or team deathmatch. Now, we've already done plenty of team deathmatch only maps with the Halo mod, so I thought it would be cool to uh, do a uh, capture the flag mode. Which is, of course, also a very, very classic uh, Halo in that sense. Your flag taken. Even uh, to the point where, you know, with one capture flag, you have one team defending, one team attacking. That's not the case here. The flag is simply in the middle. And whoever captures it will need to bring it to the other side. Uh, Arena-based map in that sense. Very classic. Uh, in a way, I do feel that this map has been in the Halo mod from the very beginning, but it definitely has gotten a uh, big, big facelift. I remember it being quite lacking flag. detail and being a lot darker and has a lot more Protect detail now flag. in the background as well. It's very, very nice to look at. Now, I usually don't do, again, I don't do the capture flag mode in uh, Battlefront. I should maybe do it a lot more. It's actually very, very cool. And it really makes you look at the map from a different perspective. Also, you can customize it very, very uh, well with Battlefront 2. You know, you can set the score uh, on however high or low you want. Uh, but you can also... You know, set a time limit, which I did right now, uh, and it's like, okay, whoever, wh whatever team has the highest score at the end wins. Uh, you can also do a score limit. You know, you can have it to where the first team that has five flags captured, etc., etc., uh, will win. But oh, Jesus! Oh no, we're one behind. The enemy is over there, sir. The enemy is everywhere, soldier. Captured. There we go. In a sense, if you do it with AI, it actually can be very, very easy to uh, go and capture it. That's fine. What's still very surprising to me is there's a lot of assets and objects in the map itself. And all of the Halo maps have been um, really easy for the AI to navigate in. None of them get stuck. It's really well done. Flag taken. Protect your flag. Oh, I got the flag. I didn't even. <laughs> okay. Kill their carrier. Didn't even realize I had it. Sniper. Sniper fire. Protect your flag. Oh. I thought I could do a melee duel, but looks like I'm gonna lose that. Your flag taken. Look out, there's more! Watch the flag! Take cover! Flag taken. There we go. Capture. Kill their carrier. Hostiles. It's very, very cool as well to have the uh, narrator from the actual Halo game in there as well. I did read a critique point that they uh, that people thought that the uh, Halo lines are in it a bit too much, too frequently. Maybe. In all honesty, for me, it doesn't uh, bother me at all. Uh, I actually find it positive in a sense, it really adds to that Halo feel to it. Kill their carrier. Will do, narrator. Protect your Whoa, flag. That was uh, too close. Flag 
In all honesty, I definitely think that some of the other maps can have um, one capture flag as well. Some of them may be too, a little bit too small. Like the uh, Halo ODST map. But uh, other ones, maybe Firing Range. I believe Firing Range is a team deathmatch only. Maybe they could have actually a capture flag and be pretty fun. I mean, this map in and of itself is actually not very big. So, and still it shows that it's actually very fun. Protect your flag. Like, in a sense, I think this is more fun than where you to play this Team Deathmatch, because Team Deathmatch is very awesome and works uh, like no other in a map like this that's so arena-based. Um, but it is one of those things where, okay, after, I don't know, two or three minutes, you've seen and experienced all there is to it. And here you have more of a focus point that, you know, carries you through the entire match. I won't actually pick it up. I'll leave that to the AI. Flag taken. Now we get to protect the flag carrier. Oh. Died a bit quick there. Protect your flag. I just I love these details, like that the needlers are actually homing. It's very, very cool. It's still, it's one of the most impressive Protect mods out there for uh, for Battlefront 2. I mean, what I'm going to do uh, at the end of the year, I'm going to do another top 10 mods. For uh, mods and maps for uh, Battlefront 2. This will definitely be in there as well. I believe last year they already were in there for the um, snow map that they did. But that was the previous update, and I will take big updates in account to uh, make certain maps eligible again to be chosen the, is over there, sir. the next year after. Same Flag with that the taken. trench warfare maps are always excellent, so you can definitely expect one of those again in the uh, top 10. But the question is, what position? Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm not dead. Capture. That was one hell of a sacrifice Shield there. Their carrier. Let's do another needler. Personally, I do prefer um, maps like the snow map or turbine. I'm not that much of an arena guy where the map itself is kind of abstract. Uh, Flag, Something like an exception is, for example, Firing Range. I love the Firing Range map, uh, but that's also, of course, with uh, because of the nostalgic feelings I get when playing and seeing it. And I don't really have that here. Like, in a sense, the um, this map is not... It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. It doesn't mean that it's a bad map. It's excellent in terms of its layout and the gameplay that it provides. But I'm now pure, pure, uh, purely talking about the aesthetics. Um, you can be any other generic, like, multiplayer shooter. You can have a map like this. Um, even something like Firing Range, which is still very arena-based, industrial, you know, kind of gray. So you know, on first glance, Protect maybe pretty generic. Uh, it has its own flavor with little details, like the targets that come up that has the brutes on them, um, the warthogs that are in the background behind the fence, etc., uh, etc. Et you know, people think those little details might not matter, but in the end they do matter because they do add uh, some flavor, even if we don't directly notice it. Oh my god, I was going for the kill, but he was faster. Your flag taken. I do have the feeling that melee-wise, the brute uh, hammer carriers are a lot stronger. 
Then again, that weapon is very rad. I do love it. Like, you kind of get scared when someone is running at you full speed with that weapon drawn. Anyway, guys, we're about to end this. If you want to download this map for yourself, you can download the Halo mod in, uh, or find the link in the description down below. Don't forget to let me know any recommendations or requests on maps or mods you want to see in the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.